OK, so. Um, account activation, it's really a um, user invite. Because the problem we have is that the customers of our platform, which maybe I'll show you later if I have time left, they don't want to sign up. We invite them. So currently um, what we have to do is we go to the users page, we create a user, then it goes back to the, 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 the admins uh, section of the users. We have to find the user that we just created, reset his password, then write an email to the customer saying, hey, this is your user and this is your password. So in order for us to uh, facilitate that process, I created the PR that of I created that implementation in our fork of Orchard Core and we would like to share it back with you. So maybe yeah, you can use it to, to please other other people that are using your platform. So um, hopefully this works. I've set it up uh, for the demo last week. Haven't touched it, but I haven't looked at it either. So let's pray to the demo gods. So in. So security users, create a new user. Oh. <laughs> so, and right away you can see, okay, is the user enabled and do I want to send him an activation email? So I'll go into the details and how I solved it, but let's use a different, let's use a different address because I might have an account already on that address. So in the background, oh. So you can see it's disabled and in my email folder, I have an email saying, oh, I hope it doesn't open my email. Okay, I have an email saying, hey, please click here the following link to activate your account. Then it will go to the site and then it has to choose a password. And of course, this password is protected by uh, the default settings of your site. Because if I make it too short, it respects the, the password parameters that we set. So, if, oh. and you start Outlook. So, I've chosen my password. Oh, why does it go to Google anyway? Uh, you get an email message saying thank you. Welcome to the family. So your user account is now activated and I could, I think, log in with it. So that's in a nutshell what it does. Did I not type admin? So how I solved it, um, I created two workflows that sends the emails. So I had to add um, an event uh, for saying, hey, uh, we have a user account request, so that's called account activation. And then it just sends an email with the. Um, in the context, it says, uh, hey, this user wants to activate an account and it has an activation URL. Oh, look, I made the return URL. Google. And I had a bit of problem with this guy because it gets JavaScript encoded and not uh, HTML encoded, but I solved that in the email task. It's also in the PR. And when your account is activated, I made the account activated event and it sends an email as well. And uh, uh, the password uh, screen that you saw um, 
uh, that's new that those are new screens because we don't have a choose password screen for specifically activating the account. So questions, yeah. remarks. Uh, so you say we don't have a screen password uh, password screens. Don't we have one to change a password? Yeah, we have we have for, for changing password, but yeah, it works differently than. Uh, I mean to reset the password. Yeah, then yeah, it works so differently. So I did not reuse it. But it works differently because you made a different feature. How now? Let's say that. So you, what you did is add a new checkbox to send mm -hmm. an email on activation. This is a new checkbox. And I assume the event is only triggered if the checkbox is checked. And this yes. is why the workflow. Can you show me the, what's the name of the first event you got? Because I saw the account activated and there is an account yes. activating or something a like that. Activation. Okay, activation. So this is when the process starts, the account activation process starts. Yeah. And so, the other is when it's finished. Um, why not use then the account creating or the user creating or whatever? Don't we have that already? Yeah, we have it. If I had but to do the same it's feature, di it's different. If I had it to do the same, contents, yeah. I, I will ask you and you will tell me what's different. If I had to do the same feature without any code, you know, any feature, I will just say I'm creating the user disabled like you did, and um, I will create a workflow like you did with the user account created. I will send an email with the URL of the account reset page that we have already. And then the user password will click. Recovery, yeah. yeah, password recovery. And then I will send, I will create another workflow, which is like password recovered or user email validated or something like that, the events we have. And then just enable the user once the password has been changed, something like that. And then that will do the same thing, right? Without any code. I tried it, but I couldn't get it to work, but I can't remember why. That's my only that's, question. That's crucial information, yeah. <laughs> because I, I was wondering how we were doing that before this feature, like even in Ultra one, because we, had, we didn't have that in Ultra one and we will support like being able, even from the admin, we can say send the activation email still. So we could even, um, yeah, have a, yeah, so we can do it from the workflow from the UI. Yeah, but now if you do it like this, it's always. So it's each time you create a disabled user, it sends out an email. Maybe you don't want that. Well, so, it, you mean each time we create a new user? I see. So, yeah, so now it's, uh, uh, it's the admin. But you could check uh, if it's enabled, for instance, if the user is not Yeah, but then it would give another meaning to the word enabled. Then it's then it's yeah it's not how do you say it's not obvious that when as an admin you create user accounts that it starts sending emails. It's a, I don't want it hey, now. Now it's uh, the reason I did. Ah, now I remember the reason I did it because I want it to be a choice of the administrator to do this. So he could just create a bunch of disabled accounts and it would not email any customer. So it has to be a, a yeah, I don't know how you say that, a, a fully conscious choice to send the activation email for us. And then why not use the, the action, which is send activation email that you have in the main screen? Because, uh, uh, so click cancel. For, click for, cancel. For, for, yeah, for us, we have like here like a couple of hundred users. So when I say add user, I say. Uh, so you are trying to say that because you have so many users, you can't do it by hand, but it's good yeah. because you can do it by hand. No, you are because you wait. can choose which one. Yeah. Because now, right now, let's say I have a few hundred users, right? Uh, if you had a few other users, you will not go through the UI. Because, there... because hundreds will turn into thousands. And then yeah, but that, then we would probably move exactly to, to... a script. So you don't need the checkbox. So that's why I'm saying you are saying you, because you have too many users, you don't want to click on a link. So you may. No. 
no, well, no. Because what I'm saying is, what we have, um, we enter it. The, oh. uh, then we have to look it up. Then we have to say, send, e, send. You mean click here, right? Mm -hmm. Make an extra button here. That's also possible, but then you would have to search the. Then you would have to too many clicks. I just want add, send, done. It's one screen. For us, it's yeah, faster. And send activation email actually doesn't send an email, right? No, it's yeah. Yeah, I, I get you. Position? It, it's so yeah, it's sick. It's you it's have to have these in place. Event. Yeah. So I would it not even the event. call it an activation email because it's it's wrong. You are just sending raising an event, mm -hmm. and then you, it's up to you to create a workflow that will catch the event. So yes. what what I think is that you really you don't need a checkbox called send activation email. It's a state of the user. I don't know what's the name of the state, but it's just a state. And it's, so you would suggest just make. Uh, more user states. It's so today. Yes, today we have something called is enabled, and that's why I'm just saying maybe it's about something else, or maybe just the, I would just do it with the is enabled, okay? And you say yes, but then every time you create a is enabled, then it won't trigger that. So maybe we need something else that we can have a metadata on a on an user, and then it can be any metadata. And so, so today, what? How is the rules? So yeah, and then in the end, if you could add a custom property called checkbox, I want, or this user needs to be activated, okay? Yeah, so, check. so prob probably you would like to have like uh, enabled, uh, waiting for something, like a drop down with more states than just is enabled. Not even drop down, but more checkboxes if you want. Yeah. So, and and not say send activation email, but needs to be activated, something like that. Okay. And yeah, then okay, yeah, okay, you okay, create okay, a yeah, workflow. Okay, yeah, so okay, when the user yeah. and when the user is created, there is not a new event. When the user is created, you check the property. Oh, does the user need to be activated? Yes. Then I will send an email. So you don't even need a custom. Yes. Yes. And, it, and you can do what. And now the second question I have is, how can we extend today a user like this? So if I look at username email, is it a part? Is roles another part? I don't think so. Maybe, I think it is. I think it is. It's just not a content type, but they are based on, sorry, they are based on custom drivers. So there must be a custom user driver or I user driver and then you can create a custom I user driver that will add a checkbox. So what I will do, if you want that, I will create a module or a feature in the existing module um, mm -hmm. that will be called user activation, fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and just with a driver that will add this property, but change the, so you have it today, you must have done that, but just call it like needs activation and you don't need new events. Or, or maybe we need to make it more extensible so we can add anything we want. People have asked for that. We need to think about it. But at least if it was just an activation driver, it would work today. Need activation. And then it's up to anyone to write the workflows and everything. Mm. You, don't need a okay. custom, you don't need a custom page or whatever and because you can reuse the reset password. Okay. So if it needs activation, and the user account has been resetted, then you can say, okay, I enable you, you have, that's what I wanted. I don't think you need custom events. I did make it a security setting. But you don't want. I don't see what, why it matters here. It's just a question of workflows and be able to trigger mm -hmm. the correct workflow when, when you want. So this new property will make sense. As, as long as we don't have any way to extend the user today dynamically, you need a feature and a driver. And I think that's all you need. And the property to say user needs activation. And then it's, up, okay, you have a, this property available in the user. And I then don't the know where I put it. Mm. Yeah. 
what I'm telling you, it must be uh, the way I'm telling you. The you must have done a driver uh, for the I user. That's the only Somewhere. way to plug here. And then it's in the properties of a user, which is uh, an entity. And then from the the workflow. Yeah, I, I put it in the uh, because see here it, it's all static. Interesting. It's not extendable. Well, that you think. <laughs> that I think. <laughs> so I yeah. So I um, just followed um, like this pattern. I I see, but I think you can extend it with custom drivers. Yeah, it's it's field, so it must be. So let's see. Yeah, I probably that. So this is the way we we customize the users. Uh, you see orchard called entities at the top. This is because the user is an entity, meaning mm -hmm. it supports custom drivers. So um, okay. I, so that will be, I think, better because you don't need okay. to write to many things, and we don't have many things to to maintain that are completely isolated, though they are the same thing. And and you know, Skype me, and we can do it we do it together. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So as to support it with custom driver. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It should be okay. one custom driver with a um, a property that is that doesn't say it will send an email because we might want to do something else, and then yeah. we could we could see what events we can reuse, and if we need to do new ones, but I don't think we need new ones, and we could support that scenario, and ideally we should not even have to create a driver. We should be able to add fields to a user like we do for a content type. That would be even better because then people will add three different checkboxes or whatever they want and then do yeah. using workflows like they want. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay. Yeah, please can you something on Skype with me if you want to finish it yeah. and we can look also at is the reset password page not sufficient or is it sufficient? Or maybe we need an event on the reset like Yeah, because password there's no there's no visited. event I could hook into, Let's look at and, the then, and, it, and, it, and it then would send like an email saying, "Hey, you forgot your password. Click no, here no. and lost link." But no, because the workflow is it will be different. Go down on the post here, uh, just below, and is there an event? Send email listing. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe there is no event here, and that's also something is is no, missing. And uh, event, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Recovery for okay. See, you have an event that so in a workflow you intercept this event and you check that the user has the um, email activation well activation enabled, and then you're like okay, the user has activation enabled and reset his password. So you remove the flag and you enable the user and you acknowledge the new password and done. Yeah, and but uh, okay, but this I think generates a reset password token URL. That's okay because this is what you will send to the user on the first event. Mm. I have to look into it, but I don't know. I, I investigated this route and I came into a dead end, so I extended the. That's how I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah, <That's different. laughs> I extended the registration <laughs> controller with activate account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think yeah, as long as as long as we can prevent to extend existing things to redo the things that we already support, we should not do that. Because that's that means more more scenarios to support, mm. and uh, yeah. So we'll see. Okay. So we'll try again, and then you can change my mind. That's fine. 